What's up guys? Welcome back to House of Eric. We have some new drugstore makeup from Wet n Wild. Shout out to my Triple G's, my gays, my guys, my girls. I'm so happy to be here with you guys once again. If you like drugstore makeup, if you like all things beauty, if you like tips and tricks on how to save money, this is the drugstore makeup topic and category of my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you've tried any of these things. And you know what? I don't want to make this a long intro. So let's just get right into the new drugstore makeup video, first impressions. Some of this is new. A little of the products I've tried before, but I haven't done a Wet n Wild makeup haul in forever. So let's get into it. All right, you guys. So like I said, I already did... Um, apply my moisturizer and I did not apply my primer so today we're going in with this is from shop miss a um and I just wanted to use it on camera I've used it once but I didn't see anything so maybe you guys can tell me if you see a difference this is the blur affection uh smooth surface ready primer it's supposed to give primer that blurs preps the skin to help minimize pores for a smooth even canvas the soft texture glides all over skin to help lock in makeup. So it's supposed to be long wearing, mattifying, and smoothing. Now I did do a review on this on my YouTube shorts, I think like a week ago, but I've never used it on camera and film. So I wanted to see if you guys saw a difference because honestly, I did not. And I'm gonna take a lot. You really don't get a lot in this. I believe you get like, does it even say how many ounces of product you get? It doesn't even, oh, 0 0.9 ounces, which is equivalent to 2.6 grams. But I'm just going to use this in my areas where I know that my pores are very visible, which of course is most of everyone on their nose, their T-zone, and even on their forehead. So, you know, one of my subscribers, um, Maya, she's like, you know what, try using more next time. So Maya, hey girl, I'm taking your advice. I'm going to use a buttload more so we can give it a chance. But the thing with this is if you use a lot more, you're basically using the whole pan. But it's all right. I mean, it was $1.55. Remember, all these products I'm gonna be use, using are gonna be linked down below. And like I said, this is gonna be primarily focused on Wet n Wild. So no worries, I wanted to give that a shot. Now I can't really see in the mirror behind my camera. So I'm gonna do a close up. I don't know, you guys. Did it? Okay, maybe this is weird. I'm not gonna lie. Maya, I think you're right. I used a lot more than I did last time. And it actually, I can't say that I minimized my pores, but I can say that it made my skin smoother. Absolutely. It literally just looks like some of my um, my texture just got smoothed out. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I totally just burped. What I'm really excited to try on is this guy, you guys. So, uh, summer vibes, depending on where you live, majority trending is glass skin. I'll set it once. I said again, I love a fresh, dewy summer look. Who doesn't? Especially me, I have... Uh, texture a lot of hyperpigmentation and if your uh, skin tends to be textured and rough a lot of the times when you use mattifying it almost increases it and emphasizes all of it that's why i love the glass skin dewy look almost luminous foundations uh because when you're using a soft luminous foundation it really just smooths out everything and having primers to back that up like this wet and wild glass correct skin so um it just makes it a lot smoother let me know if you guys agree with that um, this skin looks naturally corrected and reflective as a crystal. The yellow color correcting filler brightens and corrects dullness for a glowing complexion. Includes vitamin C, which we love. Vitamin C is, of course, a brightening complex for all skin tones. And it has a radiance boosting properties. Wear alone or to prep skin for lasting makeup. Let's give it a shake. I always shake everything, even if it doesn't say shake, because products, see, it's brand new. I've never used it. Products tend to um, separate depending on the ingredients. And I really want to give this a fair shot and see what she's made of. Okay, so it's like a dark kind of like, 
expired mustard yellow. I'm not gonna lie, the color's not very appealing at all, but I don't give a fuck about the color. I care about what this is gonna do to my skin. Remember, I want the dewy, oh my God, I'm sweating, but I'm not sweating. No, I don't wanna look greasy at all, so I take that back. But I just want a very glowy complexion. And for my natural viewers out there, I'm gonna keep it as easy and natural as possible today. We're not gonna do full glam. Um, we're just gonna do something simple, try on new products together, chit chat, and really just see if these products worth, if these products worth, if these products are worth your money and if they actually work. I mean, that's why we're here. I'm here to try out all of this drugstore makeup for you guys, let you know if it works and if it doesn't. So right off the bat from my far camera, I can see that this made my skin dewy. What do you guys think? As far as color correcting, I really don't see much. Um, I'll be honest. So that's just right off the bat. Let me look into my mirror here, my close up mirror. My skin does look dewy. It looks nice. It does not look greasy and it's giving like sun kiss, like minimal shine, but luminosity, no shine, luminosity. Um, I like it. I do like it. My skin feels smooth. All right, guys, I'm going to let this sit because I never, ever, ever review a primer without letting it sink into my skin and going in with foundation and going in with foundation right away. I mean, that does not give the primer a fair shot. It has to really set into your skin um, and really be able to sink into your skin and pores to be able to do the trick. So I'm gonna put on some green color corrector because your girl has been breaking out and yes, uh, I've been fucking popping them. It's like, Jesus, make them pop, daddy. I don't know, when in Rome, right? I'll be right back. What is up? I'm back. I'm a little blended out. I just had to do some color correcting before I tried out this new Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. So this is gonna be really good for some of you who don't like a full coverage look. Um, this is a light to medium coverage. So let's talk about it. It's a lightweight perfector, delivers hydrating benefits in a buildable sheer to medium tint for flawless, softly luminous complexion, hyaluronic acid. We all know if you watch my videos what hyaluronic acid is. If you wanna find out, go watch my videos. And plant-derived squalene helps to promote healthy, supple, moisturized Skin. So it's supposed to be lightweight, non-greasy finish, sheer to medium. And once again, it has hyaluronic acid and squalene. So those are both moisturizing complexes um, and in great ingredients for the skin. I totally just gave that away, but you know, it's because I love you guys, duh. Um, so this, <laughs> you guys, this is for you guys right here because your girl, Eric, does not wear tinted moisturizers, but... I'm not against them. I think they serve a purpose for specific people, specific occasions, specific moments in life. You know what I mean? So let's have a moment. Duh, let's have a moment together. All my natural, shout out to all my natural girls out there was good. And of course, my full coverage, Glenn Queen, shout out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's do this. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild um, I already fucking said that. Duh, wake up. I literally, if you can't tell, just woke up. And Tobias, do not edit that out of the video. This has gotta be some raw fucking footage. But enter, watch him enter a funny meme here. Okay, so let's try this out. You guys, I don't have my foundation palette today. I'm kind of like giving lazy bitch vibes, but Let's do it. I do have makeup wipes and my hands are clean. So I'm gonna put this on the palm of my hand. Eric, why are you putting your products on the palm of your hand? Why not put them right here like we all see other people? Well, that's a great fucking question and thank you for asking. I'm putting it on the palm of my hand because the front of my hand has pores. What does that do? Well, as we all know, foundation, skincare, all of that, sinks into your pores, which wastes foundation. If we're going to put it on our palm, we have no pores. Though, Therefore, we get maximum usage of all of our product and we don't waste it into our pores. The more you know. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go half side with the Beauty Blender and half side with 
a brush for some of you guys so we can see the difference. Now, let's start my right side, which is your left side, is going to be a beauty blender. Let's see how this works. And you guys, I don't want you to think that I never wear tinted moisturizers. I mean, I kind of don't. But I would if I was just like at home, you know what I mean? And today I happen to be at home. So I was like, this is the perfect day to try this. And they definitely, like I said, serve a purpose. And I love Wet n Wild. So I was like, hell yeah, I want to film this video. Wet n Wild has always been like super affordable. And they're always kind of changing it up and really changing the game. I mean, for such an affordable price, their quality is literally to die for. Like just, I'm not, I haven't done my close up yet. But just from looking at this behind the camera where the mirror is, it looks smooth, it looks hydrated, it's not giving full coverage. I see my marks, I see hyperpigmentation, but it does even out the skin tone and kind of give a makeup, no makeup look. And that's what I'm going for today. So I'm not mad at it at all. Um, always get the ears, you guys know that. Triple G's, gays, guys, girls, you guys know. Don't let a bitch clock you. Get your ears, get where you think people can see that you don't see because trust me that the that that person is looking at the back of you and we're not trying to give them like high cut off look like here's my line of demarcation i don't know how to blend we're trying to give them flawless applications like bitch look at me so they can be like what are you wearing oh are you wearing armani <laughs> no honey it's wet and wild duh all right, guys, so we went in with the Beauty Blender on my right side, and now we're going to go in with my favorite. You guys know, you know what, Screen screenshot and post your favorite flat top kabuki just for fun. You guys know I'm already going in with my favorite flat top kabuki. This isn't my favorite brand, but it is a great affordable option, and I've still been using it, so that says something. This is the AOA Studio High Definition Brush. If you haven't seen my AOA, I'll link it right here. I um, mean, I did nothing but a shot miss a look and where was some, there was some hidden gems. I'm now going in on my other side of my face with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, Bare Focus, and all ready. Let me just stipple the eye area. To be honest, I think I went in with way more on my Beauty Blender. So I'm gonna just do a dab more. You know what, it says it's buildable, so let's let's build it. I'm not gonna build, it's not full coverage. We can never get full coverage with this. So we'll, we'll still keep it natural, but let's see how she builds. You guys are like, Eric, why haven't you done your eyeshadow yet? And I'll show you why, because today is a natural look. So the technique and the eyeshadow we're gonna use today is very simple and it's very in trend right now. We're just gonna give our eyes just a little kiss of glimmer, just to really blend in and mesh this look. Okay, so let me see. She is building because it's covering. And I am not mad at it. Get that ear. We don't let bitches clock us. Not today, honey. Okay, so let me see. This is the test. Let me blend this all out. The ultimate test, you guys. Okay, let's see. I have a little left, so let's see what's really peeking through right here. Let's cover that bitch. Okay, let's see, here's the test. Let me just smooth it out. Okay, let me study very quickly. Okay, I don't, okay, let me let me take my, my personal opinion out of it and let me put a professional opinion on it. So it looks super dewy, it looks hydrating, it looks like my skin but better. 
The coverage is a light medium coverage. It's not medium coverage fully, definitely not full. You're welcome. And let me blend this eye out, see if it doesn't crease on your, my eye lines. If you're having eye issues or creases, it's not settling in to fine lines. It is settling into my smile line, but my smile line, up. Oh, I smile all the time, so it's very profound. And smile if you don't, it's very healthy for you. Hmm, okay. All right, professional opinion. Yes, it does everything that it says it does. It does look pretty, it does look pretty. Personal opinion, I'm lacking, I'm lacking coverage. And it's not because of insecurities, like, it's funny because this one time I was in school and it was so funny because I was the only one wearing makeup, little story time. I was the only one wearing makeup and um, including a set of girls, like these girls weren't wearing makeup and there's nothing wrong with not wearing makeup. Like do you, you know what I mean? And if you're, do you and mind your own business if you're not. So I was the only one and then of course they get on the topic of makeup. I'm sitting there minding my own damn business because if it doesn't involve me, I mind my own damn business as should you and as should, a, should they have. But of course they start talking about makeup and oh, only people with insecurities wear makeup. Only people who have things to hide wear makeup. And in my head, I was just like, Eric, don't snap. Don't give your opinion. Like, don't. Because if you attack and you give it to them, they win. You know? But I was just like, how idiotic and how petty and how stupid are they that the fact that, first of all, they have no creativity, obviously, no artistic expression, obviously. They're boring as fuck, obviously, because makeup is not about hiding insecurities, especially it's a diss and a complete insult to all makeup artists and all beauty professionals around the world because it is an art. Makeup is an art form, especially makeup artists. Remember, I am not a makeup artist. I know a shit ton about makeup and I'm constantly learning every single day, but I am a beauty enthusiast and I've done makeup professionally, but I do not consider myself a makeup artist. Makeup artistry to me is very intricate, detailed work and a person who is working on celebrities, who's working on clients, non-celebrities, that's not what I consider myself, but I know that it is an art and it's a complete insult to those who are in the industry because that's not what makeup is about. Sure, some people may use it to hide things they don't want, but that's not why I do it. And it was just, they were just talking. I was just like, oh my God, you know what, Eric? You can't fix stupid. And you can't change the mind of ignorant people. Anyways, that's my story. So the reason I told that is because it's not that I'm trying to hide anything. Like you guys have seen me bare skin. I don't give a fuck. I, I just prefer more on me. But I'm doing this just to review all the latest and greatest. And you know what, it is a beautiful, it's a beautiful sheer to medium foundation. I'll give that, it's glowing, especially with that glass corrector primer. I'm, I'm not mad at it, it did exactly what it said. So, all right, we've done the primer, we've done the foundation. Um, let's go in next. I don't have a new concealer, but where did, on earth did I put my concealer? See you guys, I'm not awake yet. All right, guys, I'm back. The e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Long Lasting Mist has set, and this is how dewy it looks. So let's do a review of everything. Um, first of all, I love, 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 love the way this look turned out. I always take a break right after the finished look, and I set about 20 minutes just to see and analyze everything. First of all, with the amount of product on my face, even though it's all kind of, um, it wasn't really full coverage, I feel like I'm wearing nothing. I am so taken aback right now and I'm so shocked, you guys. Let's just start from A to Z. Okay, let's start with the primer. Um, I'm gonna give this, it did give a dewy look. Um, it claimed to give a dewy look, which it did. It does have vitamin C, which is great for brightening purposes, especially if you use it every day. I feel like you're really going to see results. Did it color correct? 
No. Did it make my skin dewy? Yes. So, I mean, for the price of it, I'll have all prices down below, all products in the description box in case you want to buy it. I'll give you the link so I make it easy for you. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Um, I'll definitely use it again, but it didn't blow, like, my brains out, if you know what I mean. Um, next. It is so funny. Like, never judge a book by its cover. I am literally, like, obsessed. I am obsessed. This is a sheer to uh, medium coverage tinted hydrator bare focus by wet and wild perfect for this natural look that we did remember my natural may not be your natural but I, this is not full coverage okay um the lightweight perfector it, it is a lightweight perfector i'm in the shade light medium in case you're near my skin tone and 10 out of 10 i will be using this again i can't wait to use it again actually which is so weird because it's not full coverage and I, like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't like tinted hydrators, but I like this tinted hydrator. It's fucking amazing. If you don't run, I mean, don't walk, you need to go running and go get this. I got this at Walgreens. Um, you could get it at Walmart, I'm sure, for a little bit cheaper. Um, this is great. I'll leave this just uh, the link down below. You have to get this. Next, what did we do? We went in with the concealer. Um, you could live without it. It's not amazing. I mean, if you're going to wear your concealer for 30 hours, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Stay Active 30-hour um, concealer. I mean, was it medium coverage? Yes. Is that the reason I don't like it? No. Um, it just, if you use a lot of makeup like I do, and you just know, and girls, gays, guys, you guys, I'm sure you can be your own judge of character. You can pass. Try it. If you don't like it, I told you not to buy it, okay? Um, it just didn't blow my mind. Next, let's go in. Let me put the top on first. What did we go in? We went in with the blush. Next, I think we did. Did we go in with the blush? Yeah, we'll do blush. Um, color flush, duh. I'll leave the description. I'll leave the description. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Um, yes, amazing. Yes, a dollar. Yes. Cute bronzer summer moment. Very creamy. Easy to blend. This is the Santee Super Blendable Concealer. Does Is it super blendable? Yes. It twists up. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to try and get this in a cool color so I can contour. This is a warm color, so I bronzed with it. Very, very beautiful. Um, absolutely love it. The Michaela, well, it's not by Michaela, but she helped formulate it. L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24-Hour I'm not going to give my opinion on this yet. Um, I do like the way the bronzer looks. I'm not going to give my opinion on it yet. But, um, I mean, it was smooth. And I'm going to try this again. I'll update it in the description box. But it, this is in the shade Light Claire. Wet and Wild Photo Focus. Loose Setting Powder. Jesus Christ. I now remember why I love this product so much. This is beautiful. Literally Photo Focus. Look at my skin, you guys. Like, I am so blown away by this makeup look. It is so natural and easy, beginner-friendly. If you're watching this, you're new to makeup. This look is so achievable, and it may look scary at first, but you guys just follow along. Remember, there's no right or wrong to makeup. The secret is blending, and this was very easy. Um, anyone can do it. it. It is stunning. It's smooth. It smoothed my pores. It set my makeup. It was translucent. It didn't change the color of my foundation, which I am huge on. Powders that change the color of my foundation. If it says translucent and it changes the, the color of my foundation, you're a double zero. I hate you. Another product blown away by Wet n Wild. This is so beautiful. This is a bare focus clarifying finishing powder. It's vegan collagen. It has tea tree. Wow, vitamin E. I didn't even know that when I reviewed it in the beginning. I just read it. This is new from Wet n Wild. It's the uh, bare focus translucent. This goes along. So this is meant to go along with this. This is their new line. The Tinted Hydrator, see it says Bare Focus, and that one's also Bare Focus. Both of these, amazing. I, when you guys saw me put this on right off the bat, I knew I loved it. Yes, very affordable. Oh my God, chef's kiss. See the way it just brightened up my under eye? So beautiful, stunning, can't live without it. You need to go get it. I will be using the, the powders again, the Wet n Wild. Uh, I wanna use this like every day. This is fucking amazing. What else? Oh yeah, the primer 
Blurfection Face Primer from AOA. Um, yes, $1.55, it actually did smooth my pores. A uh, Wet n Wild Mega Highlighter, yes. I know this is a lot of yeses, it's because they really fucking are. Um, I don't know yet. Maybe I need a darker shade. I didn't really see much. Um, I know I used to like this. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'll let you guys decide on this one. Did it do anything? Comment down below if you saw, if you saw this do anything. Let's see, what else? Okay, my version of a simple summer look would be this. It was very easy. Of course, it took a long time to apply because I'm, in, I'm explaining products, I'm reviewing, I'm giving my opinion, first impressions, but this look would have taken me five minutes, literally out the door in five minutes. All I did for my eyes, for me, there's nothing. I didn't do any lashes because this is a natural summer look. So why put on false lashes? Um, <clears throat> any mascara will do. But for me, nothing screams more than summer than kind of a soft pink all shimmer. So I just went with the all shimmer. Um, it is the AOA Studio. This is a dollar. I've reviewed this before. Um, this was a dollar and I just put it all along. There's no right or wrong, and I didn't lay any mat. Oh, actually, I did. I laid this down as kind of my base off camera. Chef's kiss. So beautiful, so soft, so smooth. Nothing screams summer more to me than a baby soft pink, all glitter, all soft shimmer look. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's just right, you guys. Wet n Wild, you did this. I'm so impressed. I love this look. And like just from the beginning, I did not think I was going to like this. Star of the show, these guys right here. Totally stars of the show. Um, and I just finished the, off the uh, natural lip. No lip color, no lip liner. I just did a um, clear shimmer gloss. Very like natural to me. And by natural, I mean we're not putting on lip liner. We're not putting on... Uh, lipstick. We're just giving ourselves a little moment. You guys, I am so happy. Oh, not to forget the other star of the show, but I already knew I love this. Look at my skin. Look at how much powder you saw me put on. I put on so much powder and look, I am so dewy. It melted all the powder together. This is long lasting. This is from e.l.f. You have to get this. It is a must. I look Chef's kiss, I look sun kiss, I look glowy, I look dewy, I'm serving, I'm giving beach vibes, I'm giving don't fuck with me vibes. You guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it till the end, mwah, te quiero mucho, I love you. Si te gusta este video, por favor, hit the subscribe button. Y um, si uh, as mi español es un poquito uh, Spanglish. Si has tried any of these productos, por favor, dime, dime cuál te gusta, te, el, el Wet n Wild, cuál producto te gusta. Me gustó mucho este, muy, muy bueno, agárralo, muy bueno. You guys, blown away. Um, thank you so much for watching this. If you guys enjoy drugstore makeup, if you love Wet n Wild, if you love me trying new things, give this video a thumbs up, share it. It really does help my channel. Please don't just watch, I love that you're watching it. But please, it helps me out. Give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Thank you for going on this health and beauty journey with me. And remember, you can't please everyone. So just be yourself. And F all of the haters, you guys. Stay true to yourself. Stay beautiful. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.